What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to their episode of Humbug Outdoors Fishing. It's your boy C. Smith here, and today we are at the beautiful Bodega Bay, the gorgeous Doran Beach Jetty. We are on the opposite side from where you guys usually see my videos on that area over there. And uh, here with my buddy Jake Whittle. You guys have seen him in a couple videos. And we've got an awesome video for you guys today. We're gonna be doing some uh, some rock, you know, shore-based uh, rock fishing, maybe rockfish, lingcod, whatever it is, you know, whatever it is, we're going for it. Um, but we've also brought a bunch of food with us and we're gonna be doing a catch and cook fish tacos, uh, you know, off the beach here. So it should be a blast of a video for you guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoy, stay tuned. All right, so the usual setup I have is what I'm gonna be going with today. The Shimano Nasky 4000, got my custom power knob on there. Uh, this is the Shimano Skimitar, uh, awesome rod. I absolutely love this thing, it's an eight foot six. Got a, basically like my little drop drop shot rockfish setup here with just a little white curly tail on the end. Basically any little small curly tail or grub works. So this should be an absolute blast video. Stay tuned, let's get it. Woo, let's get it. Another thing guys, I have said in my previous videos as well, you've got to watch when you're walking these rocks here, don't step on anything green because green means fresh and alive and that is usually going to be moisture, which is slippery. So when you're on stuff like this, look for those like white muscles. Those are dead muscles. They're really grippy. Whew. So we got some good reports from the locals around here. Um, today has been apparently a good day for rockfish and uh, an eel. So. Got one. Good, good one, good one. Yep. Yes, that's a keeper, bro. Yes. Oh my God. You. Uh, viewers down below. Like I said before, I have no freaking clue which species this is. Um, but if you guys noticed, I was just bobbing it right down there. I felt the pump. And then as I lifted back up, I, I, you know, I felt him go in and he took me towards the rocks. But uh, luckily I did have some stronger, put him some beefy line today and I was able to pull him out. There we go. Oh, okay. okay, my turn. Still not a not a keeper. We're gonna we're gonna release these guys. I only want them as big as the uh, you know, basically like an extra, I don't know, three or four inches on these guys, and I'll keep them. But uh, for now, the smaller guys, they are gonna go back in where they came from. Woo. Heads up, buddy. Woo. Oh, there's a hole. Woo. Yep. Yeah. Oh, little guy. Ooh. Dang. I felt him slapping around in there. Let's see if I can get another one out of this hole. We're at the very end of the jetty here, and it seems like there's a lot deeper holes in this stretch. So uh, we're gonna give this stuff a little more of a try here. I do want to go. Uh, you know, I want to cook this stuff up before dark. So we aren't gonna probably stay for too long. We definitely still want to make a, you know, a day out of this and have some fun. Oh, oh, Jake. It's an eel, it's an eel. It's a big old eel. Oh my gosh. No freaking way. Oh God. Oh my, <laughs> no way. All right. So guys, 
this is my first ever eel right here. I have heard that they've got some nasty teeth on them, so I am not gonna mess with this thing. I guess what, do we just, I just boat boat flip them? Food for us, all right, let's get them up. Oh my gosh, here, move that rod. I'm gonna try to get him to cooler as fast as possible here. That way he doesn't flip off. He smells. My first impression is he smells like garbage. All right, guys, so I just gilled him out and everything. It was really hard to do it with the camera, so I just put that down for a sec, but I think he's done. I think he's done moving now. All right. Gah. What an odd fish. Beautiful in a way. I mean, it's really cool how that, you know, they are in this habitat. One thing I did notice is that whole side is just straight meat. So we're gonna get a ton of meat off this thing right here. That's a big one. Woo. Focus on it. My buddy Jake here finally got his rockfish for the day. So uh, we are gonna bring these guys in right here and uh, get them cooked up. So we've got a little trek back, but it's gonna be well worth it. These guys are gonna taste exceptional. So. You. Yeah. Alrighty, folks. So here's the situation. Uh, we left the cheese in the cooler with the fish, and the cheese bag had a hole in it. So all the cheese now tastes like rockfish. So my buddy just went to go grab cheese from the store. Uh, he's almost back, so I'm gonna start putting the rockfish and eel uh, on the uh, on the stove here. So I will show you guys everything. Once he gets back, he'll be able to hold the camera, and we'll get the rest of it uh, put up for you guys. All right, guys, so here is the, uh, I believe those two are the rockfish, and then I cut the eel up into a lot of different chunks. Um, we did save, I put a little bit of eel away in the cooler. Uh, I was gonna bring some home for the family, um, but we got this right here. Did a little bit of salt and pepper on the top. We got the stove right here. I got a ton of butter. We got tons more butter here. Um, we're just going straight butter with this. So, uh, it's time. Is that not the most beautiful thing you have ever seen in your life? Is this not the best thing we've ever done? The most beautiful thing you've seen in your life. Oh my gosh. And you're taking up all my light in the shot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been just smiling. <laughs> that is terrific. I like this. The spiciness with the pepper mm -hmm. definitely helps when I put, you know, because I put a lot of pepper on top of it. Yeah. Oh, it's a little spicy. It's honestly, I could use a little bit of milk. Like, alrighty, guys, two down, one to go. Wow. Um, I did do a horrible filleting job, so I did not get all the fish. I forgot a filleting board, and I didn't want to use the table because this is what everybody like eats on and stuff. So I had to do it down on the rocks down there. It wasn't the best. Definitely not. I always forget something, and that was a really crucial thing to use. Um, but we did get a lot of it. I cut a lot of it off the fish, and I made sure not to waste, you know, too much. Um, but when well, we just slammed those, I mean, I, I'm on three, he's on three, and we loaded them up with fish in there. But absolutely incredible. Guys, that was incredible. That was this is some of the best meals and experience uh, I have had. So... If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff you're supposed to do for a YouTube video, and we will see you guys next time on Humbug Outdoor. Oh my gosh. They're spicier than I thought. Yeah. Um, I, think it's I think it's a combination of the pepper, I think the pico de gallo's got some kick, and this may have some, it may be a triple threat there. Mm -hmm.